Good morning, beautiful people. I woke up this morning, did a meditation, and then started to put together my day. How am I feeling? What are my intentions for what I need to get done today? I started listing out the pieces. I cut my hair yesterday. It looks fresh. I shaved, so my face looks good. It's a drizzly, rainy day in Berkeley, California, which invokes these kind of childlike, nostalgic vibes in me. I took a rest day yesterday from exercise, so my legs are super fresh. I wanted to go out and do a big run. I also I also wanted to make a fun YouTube video for you guys. I wanted to make kind of a challenge video. And then lastly, I'm super hungry. I have a huge appetite today. I'm very hungry this morning. I put together all of those pieces, my friends. And there really, in my mind, is only one outcome. It's time to attempt the 5,000 calorie trio cereal challenge. What does that mean, you might ask? I'm gonna only eat cereal today, and I'm gonna eat a lot of it, and I'm gonna review those cereals, cause I love cereal. Quick disclaimer before I get on with this super fun video. Some of you might be confused, triggered, variety of things, why I even do eating challenges, isn't this indulgent, isn't this unhealthy? I totally get all of that criticism. I'm someone that really likes to keep it real. I'm all about peace, sustainability, loving yourself from your inner heart, not based on what you eat or what your body looks like and all of that stuff. So I have a video right here explaining why I do eating challenges for my channel. Good morning, y'all. Let's do a little physique check before I start pounding in the carbs. Because as all you haters know, once I start eating all those carbs, I'm gonna get fat, right? No, no, no. So what we have got here, my friends, are three very different cereals. Cereal number one is what I think is my favorite cereal. This is Trader Joe's low-fat uh, granola with almond cereal. I eat this on my ice cream all the time. It's so good. I have a lot of experience with this cereal. Number two is something I have never tried before in my life. It is a chocolate almond sorghum cereal. Looks pretty good. And then number three. Do I even need to say anything about this? Uh, I grew up eating the cereal. I loved eating the cereal, but I can say that in my four and a half years as a vegan so far, I have never put one piece of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in my mouth because it's just a mainstream manufactured, probably not very healthy cereal, but it's totally vegan. And uh, for a challenge like this, I have no problem indulging in an old treat that is high carb, fine with me. Oh, let me show you what milk I'll be using. I will be drinking silk almond milk. Yay! Okay, I think I'm gonna have a small bowl of this and a small bowl of Bare Naked to start it off. Let's get this challenge on the road. Eating out of my own handmade ceramic pottery, of course, which you can buy on my Etsy store. Links in the description. Time to taste test Trader Joe's low fat granola. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The initial aromas and flavors are vanilla, even a little fruity, almost banana y vanilla almond very good such a simple cereal and the crunch is so good and the flavor is like it's like a it's like a vanilla wafer cookie ingredients we've got whole rolled wheat milled cane sugar rice flour cornstarch vegetable oil brown rice syrup almond salt natural flavors barley malt syrup so yeah nutrition i'll give it a three and a half out of five there's 210 calories per serving uh only 25 of those calories coming from fat so it's a super low fat cereal which i like taste i give it a four out of five like as i said it tastes like cookies and then texture it also gets a four out of five it's like so crunchy all right, we're starting with some pretty high standards. Maybe throughout this challenge, I could try doctoring up the cereals with other ingredients and see if it really like changes the game. So I've got some blueberries that I'm gonna add in, a few walnuts and some cinnamon. See how that changes things. I'm 
still hungry for a bigger breakfast before my run, so let's try bare naked cereal chocolate almond cluster. First look, looks really strange. I mean, these are sorghum flakes. Got some nice little chocolatey bits in there. Pretty bitter. The chocolate definitely dominates the flavor. It's kind of that bitter, dark chocolate, and the these sorghum flakes are more just like a vehicle of texture for the cereal and the bulk. It tastes a lot less sweet, and I'm actually looking at the nutrition facts. Per serving, the low-fat granola has 15 grams of sugar, and this has 11 grams of sugar, so it does make sense. It's slightly less sugar. What's cool about this cereal is you have the big flakes, right? Then you also have these granola cl clusters, and then you have little chocolate. So texture-wise, that is pretty epic. I'm gonna have to give this a four and a half out of five for texture, because like, what cereals have three different things? Like, that's pretty amazing. Taste-wise, it's almost like a wash to me. Like, there's not that many chocolate cluster, or little chocolate chunks, and everything else isn't that flavorful, to be honest. So I'm actually gonna give it a two on taste. And nutrition, let's look at the nutrition info. Ingredients are whole burgundy sorghum, rice, whole wheat, chocolate almond granola clusters, oats, cane sugar, brown rice, flour, there's a little bit of sunflower oil, vanilla extract, salt, rosemary, cane sugar, chocolate, cocoa butter, soy lectin, vanilla extract, cane sugar, whole oats, sea salt, okay. I give it a three out of five on nutrition. Again, pretty good wholesome ingredients. I know what each one of those things are. There's not too many strange names. But again, there's not like essential fatty acids or omegas or whatever. Oh, it's also fair trade. That's pretty cool. All right, getting ready for my run. Check out all my sweet Nathan products. I'm gonna be reviewing this product, the Exo Shot. It's a little hydration uh, water pack. And look, it's got this cool thing where it like wraps around your hands so that like you almost aren't even uh, like holding it because this wraps around your wrist. So I'm excited to try that out. And I'm putting a little cereal because um, I think I'm gonna try to run a half marathon today. Uh, just like a two hour slow half marathon. So I'm gonna see if I can put some of this cereal in uh, my little pouch. I look like an elf. It is raining. I'm gonna be out in nature. I'm gonna do a half marathon. There'll be parts that are pleasurable. In fact, most of it will be. And there will be parts that will be challenging. When the water's dripping into my ankles and my quads are burning and I'm hungry and cold and I'm shivering, that right there is what life is about. Overcoming obstacles, Ganesha. Ganesha removes obstacles from us, but he's also the placer of obstacles. Life is not about achieving a certain thing and then having all of your problems go away. This is life. It's a wave. Obviously, my problems are nothing compared to most people in the world. I am super privileged and lucky and grateful, but that's why I'm so attracted to things like getting out in the rain on a cold day and running a half marathon because it gives me some struggle in my life to run through my veins and overcome and tackle it and then feel good at the end. So let's do this. In one moment, you're prepping for a long, rainy run, and in the blink of an eye, 
you're back in your car, high as hell, chemicals running through your brain of bliss. You ran by cows, you got real wet, got muddy, listened to some podcasts that got you so inspired, and then you go home and eat a bunch of cereal, and that's kind of life. <laughs> okay, official numbers, I ended up running more than half a marathon. I ran 15.1 miles at an 842 pace. Not that much elevation at all. It was a total of 836 feet of elevation gain. That's nothing. And I did it in two hours and 11 minutes and I feel great. I could have kept going 100%. There's just not enough time in the day. Got a lot of stuff to do. During my run, I listened to the Plant Power podcast, my buddy Dylan Steeples, uh, Plant Power NZ on Instagram from my bike trip this summer, my brother. His podcast, Plant Power Podcast on iTunes, go check it out, can't see that. Uh, he had on a guy named Matt Grills. He's a dad ultra runner. He's run 200 miles and he just opened up a plant-based cafe called The Journey Bagara in Australia. And as I was listening, like, a dude like Matt, who is a young father, he was pretty heavy guy, ate a bunch of meat, and then he goes ultra runner, dad, opens up a vegan cafe. Like, he, that kind of guy, just an everyday dude that is putting out intentions and building a family and community in his little local town. He's not huge on social media, like he has accounts and I'll link them, but that's the kind of role model and inspiration of why I do what I do. And in the podcast interview, Matt said that kind of his inspirations and how he's been able to develop this lifestyle is he listened to, to the Rich Roll podcast, so that's like up here, tier one. He then listened to my episode when Rich interviewed me and got into Plantriotic, and then he started following Thought for Food, Jackson and Aaron, who I kind of like got into social media and inspired, and then he met Dylan because Thought for Food, my friends, hung, hung out, uh, did a podcast with Dylan. It's like... I feel like I'm this little puzzle piece in a much bigger world that's influencing random people from Australia that are opening up vegan cafes. Okay, time to go home and smash some CTC, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So this is strange for me because I like to be a good example of eating healthy, right? Like that's, that's one of my biggest things that I show you guys is how clean I eat and you can see all of my vlogs I eat very healthy, whole food, plant-based. And most people watching this are probably trying to clean up their diet. So I like to be a good role model, but once in a while, I am gonna throw a wrench in that system and I do it for a few reasons. One is to make veganism accessible. A lot of people maybe who watch my vlogs think I could never prepare 100% of my own food like this guy, I just can't do veganism. When I show, eating my post-workout, you know, carbs and lunch as this, maybe it'll make some people say, okay, maybe I could try out this lifestyle. And again, what I really care about even more than health is ethics, and this is ethically vegan. The number two is that I'm not like most people. Most people uh, maybe want to lose weight, eat too much junk food. My problem is actually the opposite. I have an experience in a past with eating disorder, restricting my food, but also restricting the uh, quality of food that I eat to only eating healthy things, never eating oil, never eating processed sugar. And I'll link a video right here uh, opening up to my eating disorder story and how I've overcome it and I think that once in a while throwing in something like this that I literally haven't eaten in four years it gives me a little peace of mind that I still have control over the foods that I eat and that I'm not dogmatically obsessed with only eating the highest quality nutrition foods oh but the first few bites are gonna be glorious Nutrition gods, please forgive me. Oh my god, it brings back those smells. Holy crap, from my childhood. I ain't gonna lie. It's delicious. Mm. Oh my god. Crazy thing about CTC is really the texture of these flakes. What are they? Are they rice? Are they wheat? Let's read the nutrition facts. We got whole grain wheat, okay, so it's wheat, sugar, 
rice flour, rice bran, canola oil, canola oil fructose, maltodextrin, dextrose, salt, cinnamon, sodium phosphate, soy lecithin, caramel color, and then a bunch of vitamins. At the end of the day, it's wheat and sugar and rice. But again, it's super processed. It's a General Mills product. Uh, for the review, nutrition-wise, I'll give this thing a two and a half. I mean, it doesn't have any animal products, right? So I'm not gonna hate on it too much. No high fructose corn syrup, no color artificial sources, no artificial flavors. I'm gonna give it a four for taste. And the texture is actually incredible. It's like these wheat flakes are light and crunchy, but they also melt. They like crunch and dissolve in your mouth when you eat them. Mmm. They do get a bit soggy pretty fast, so I'm gonna give them a 3.5 for texture. Sugar fresh. Eating a whole box of CTC after a 50 mile run was just about the easiest thing I've ever done. But yeah, the gut feels a little bit sugared out. <laughs> just spent the last hour and a half laying on my bed, kind of suffering from a head rush from all of that sugar, I'm guessing, um, and editing videos and working and answering comments and stuff. I feel... I don't feel like physically bloated or full in that way, but I just feel like sweeted out. I feel like I should, I could never say that because I love sweet things, but like just a plain russet potato sounds so good right now. But yeah, that's why it's a challenge. It's going to be rough having another cereal dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the things I do. Um, but something really important to me that's kind of keeping me sane amongst all my work is daily yoga. So I'm going to go to a yoga class now, hopefully cleanse my body of the processed food that I've been eating. So I'll see you guys when I get back from yoga. You guys, I have so much to tell you. <laughs> okay, so I just took that yoga class and I take that 4.30 yoga class almost every single day. So I've taken it like after a big day of exercise, all the time, it's very normal for me. And I know how I usually feel. And the class I just took, I was significantly more flexible, energetic, and I made a breakthrough in my handstand that I have never done in my life. And I'm just trying to think, how can this be? Here's my explanation though, of why that yoga practice was freaking epic for me. This is probably one of the lowest volume food days I've actually eaten in a long time. If you think about it, I'm essentially just eating refined carbohydrates, refined flour and processed sugar, essentially. That's been my whole diet for the whole day. So I'm getting a ton of energy carving up on refined sugars, which honestly, like I'm just super carved up right now. And I had a lot of energy and I got that through refined sugars and that's real. If, if you hate refined sugars and think it's bad for you, you can think that, but my energy levels are super high. And then the second thing is that, yeah, my volume was so low, so I don't have all these big bulky things digesting in my stomach. Like I'll show you, you like I am, you know, super flat stomached right now. Like usually probably by this time, I'm kind of like this during the day, you know, with all that food in my gut, but I feel really like, light but carved up and it's because I'm eating refined sugar. So yeah, that's what I really was excited to tell you. This was such an educational day. You guys, I would like to go to bed without eating anymore, but I know I have to. I'm not in a good place. I'm not in a terrible place. I'm not in like a 10,000 calorie challenge place. That's like a dark, dark cave but I'm really not hungry. I feel pretty sick. You know, I ate some junk food that, I mean, that CTC knocked me out. I'm just not used to those preservatives and that sugar and ugh. But the reality is I don't quit. You guys know me, I don't quit. So we have, please let this be a small amount. Please let this be a small amount. That's kind of small, not that small. I have that. Plus, <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, shit. <sighs> Time for dinner. Quick complaining. Quick complaining. Actually, it smells good. Thankfully, I've got these bloobs. That makes me feel a lot better. First impressions. Oh, I'm not sick to my stomach. I'm gonna treat myself, watch some of my favorite YouTube videos. I'll give a shout out to whoever I'm watching. First up is my friend Megan Elizabeth. Sneak peek into her retreat center. All right, what I learned from Megan's video is that she's having a retreat in the beginning of March and it's on the land of our friend Laura that I visited. You saw it in my vlog, the hot springs place where we soaked and had like a musical event and a vlog from a few weeks ago in Hawaii. If you want to go, go to Hawaii, change your life, check out their retreat. Go to meganelizabeth.com slash retreat. Okay, who's next? I love this, getting to give my friends shout outs while I eat my food. It's going well. I'm a little full, but I'm trying to eat as quick as possible because I think that's going to be the key. I just need to stuff this in. Next up, Maddie Limburner, what I eat in a day, plus recipe. I don't like this. I like the vlog, Maddie. I don't like this. Maddie, you got to hook yourself up with a Vitamix. But I think you're doing the digital nomad life, so I understand. You got to work with what you got, but damn, I feel for you. Ah, oh, you got a pretty good texture out of that, actually. Okay, I take it back. You guys, I'm putting this down pretty quick. I'm feeling really confident that I might be able to just bust this out like right now. Let's let's just go. Finish the blueberries. I'm done with the almond milk. Ah, oh, Maddie's got some some tofu porn shots going on right now. She's a great, Maddie, you're the queen of what I eat in a day vlogs. I'm the king, I'm the male king. You're the queen for sure. Very good. Where's Kyle? You haven't shown my boy in the whole thing. This is about to be over. Calorie food challenges, like high calorie number challenges, or death. You think it's gonna be fun, and it's not fun. Maybe it'll make my muscle bigger. Uh. Mm, come on, grow. We're down to mainly liquid. This challenge is over. Three boxes of cereal, one day, one carton of plant-based milk. Today has been a great learning experience. Thank you so much for joining me along my struggle and along my journey. I hope you got something out of it that benefits your life because if you didn't and it was a waste, I'd be really sad. Please let me know down below what else you'd like me to try. Maybe some other challenges and I'll think about doing them, but I don't know because I feel so bad when I do them. Maybe some like super healthy challenges. Like I'm gonna do Banana Island and I'll be vlogging that. Um, I don't know, like a day of potatoes would be funny. Just leave your comments down below what you think. Leave your comments what you thought about this challenge. How'd you like the video? Subscribe, you know the drill. There's gonna be a bunch of link in, links in the description. Check them all out. I'm gonna curl up in my bed. Go to sleep, namaste, and I'll vlog tomorrow to show you what I eat to detox from this experience. <sighs>